should we read Mohan Bhagwat's statement as shadow boxing or a real punch? My guest this evening, a quick introduction to all of them. Thank you very much. Uday Ji, Uday Mahokar, he's uh, an author. He's a journalist, someone who has seen the Sangh and the BJP and studied them closely for the last 36 years. Thank you very much for your time. We have Sangeet Radgi, who's a political analyst, will be speaking on behalf of the RSS. Nirija Chaudhary ji, just about uh, miking up, senior journalist, someone we always love to speak to. Hi, Nirija ji. And Taisin Punawala is an old friend of uh, Mira now, joining us on the broadcast, a political analyst. Uday ji, matlab, thoda bhot to thik tha, ye thoda bhot se zada nahi ho gaya punching. Dikhi, there, I know, you know, there are efforts uh, on both sides to mend fences. Ha. You know, Nadda ji went to Kerala for the Samnamai meeting, you know, very Correct. well. Hmm. Uh, but uh, things are still not uh, on track. I think today's statement shows that. Today's statement very clearly you are saying shows that Parivar mein sab thik nahi hai. Ha. Abhi thik, thik karne ka prayatna chal rahe hai, lekin abhi ha. tak thik, ab, abhi bhi thoda problem hai. ऐसा आज दिख रहा है आज के स्टेटमेंट के बाद लेकिन आपकी जो बात है कि सेडो बॉक्सिंग है क्या है ये आई विल पुट इट वेरी स्ट्रेट यू नो मोदी कल ये सब बात ठीक है फॉर एनालिसिस यू नो यू सी टू थिंग्स एंगर्ड आरएसएस एस एन एस ए मदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वन वाज द ओवर यूज ऑफ एजेंसीज अगेंस्ट अपोजिशन ओनली एंड टू टेकिंग टेंटेड पीपल इनसाइड द पार्टी एंड क्लोजिंग केसेस अगेंस्ट देम these two things i think uh, uh, rss thought that dented their ideological uh, uh, you know uh, image hmm. of the entire sang parivar you know hmm. so this was i think something which is at the root of what is happening now so you said and then comes nadda statement of course hmm. nadda ji statement was also had fuel to fire in that sense so uh, you are saying that my analysis that brand modi has managed to overshadow everything including the rss in the last 10 years wasn't a factor at play isn't a factor at play when mohan bhagwat or indresh kumar make the statements that they no, are no, making I, I would, this I, is the sun reasserting itself I would go and saying, into the immediate reasons you remember see remember who the father is let, let us tell let us look at it this way 370 narendra modi has removed correct ram mandir was impossible hmm. to think about 10 years ago hmm. ram mandir is open now hmm. correct so he was implementing sun agenda so i think we have to go into the immediate provocations you know immediate provocation was these two or use of agencies like ed and cbi against opposition only in the last two years mm -hmm. particularly and two taking uh, tainted people inside mm -hmm. and closing cases against them i think these were the two most uh, provocative uh, uh, things which happened uh, between rss and bjp as i look at it as an old time observer neeraja ji is that something you agree with Look, there are many reasons why uh, the Sangh probably was not very happy, what they call Vyaktivad, uh, and uh, not enough, uh, what they say, not enough importance being given to the organization, more importance being given to the government, mm. and as one of them uh, people said, you know, being uh, filled with yes people, yes men and women. Uh, the organization. Of course, they were very unhappy with Mr. Nadda's statement during the course of the elections, where he said that, uh, you know, the, the organization now was capable enough to take care of its affairs and didn't need any hand-holding by the RSS. But all those things are now, you know, a lot of water has gone down. Ever since that, there have been several, several Sorry. meetings between top leaders of the Sangh and the BJP. In Delhi, in Rajnath Singh's house, Mr. Amit Shah, Mr. Nadda uh, met, met with uh, people on the Sung side, senior people on the Sung side. In Palghat recently, at the Samanmay Batak, uh, again, top Limohan Bhagwat himself was there and others were there. And Mr. Nadda was uh, there, Mr. B.L. Santosh was there. And this three-day meeting, they came out with uh, uh, very important ideological statements, giving go-ahead to the caste sense and saying that things like subclassification of uh, within the SCST reservation should be done by consensus. I mean, those are very important things where I believe the Sangh was 
almost bailing out the BJP. BJP was cornered on these two issues and was ambivalent in its stand. So all that having happened, then now to get Mr. Mohan Bhagwat to, you know, again talk about, uh, you know, don't treat yourself as God, it's the people who have to judge you. Obviously, you and I and everybody will decode, you cannot say anybody's name has been taken, but we will decode it in the way that there is unhappiness against the leader. Now, why has this happened? And uh -huh. somewhere things are not working out, so this is pressure by the Sang that if you want us on board, then you have to be mindful of what we want done. And I thought that uh, the main thing that they okay, would okay. want is have a say on who will be the next party president. Now, Mr. Nadda's term has, had got mm -hmm. over in June, and, but he's still continuing as uh, uh, interim uh, president. But it, uh, who will be the person? I think there's been a lot of behind the scenes parlays on this. Mm -hmm. So could that be one of the reasons? You know, immediate okay. reasons for uh, this statement, the latest statement that's come from the RSS chief. There's another, another bottleneck, I'll just tell you. You see, uh, Sang wants BJP to appear more, you know, it's, it's still not humble, you know. Ah. Hmm. You see, for example, for example get, every, get, get, getting every to... Every RSS leader has used this one word for the BJP. No, no, I, I'll, BJP. How, 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 how I'll tell you. I'll put it in the rice perspective. Huh. Uh, you see, after they, of course, they came uh, to power for the third time, you know. But they got 240 seats much below their expectation. Huh. They did not get even a clear majority. Correct. So at least some senators should have said that we will evaluate the results, uh, go into what were the reasons and take corrective measures. Even that statement has not come from the party. That is also rattling RSS, you know. 